We are here with the unboxing of the Aresis Red Series CNC machine. Today we will examine what comes out of the box. Yes, we opened our cardboard box. Foam protection welcomed us. Foam protection is important to protect the machine and accessories during the transport process against shocks. Thanks to the structure of the box, it ensures that the Red Series reaches your door in a very safe and secure way. Yes, we see the shatter-resistant work glasses first. It will protect our eyes against sawdust splashes. Here we see the USB cable. It will connect to the computer. We see the power cord. We see the work table clamp two pieces. We see a demo wooden plate for you to cut. Keys for removing and installing the ER20 cap. We see the probe cable that will allow you to make automatic alignment. Two collets and ER20 cap. Collets are for 6 and 3 mm end mill. Here we see the connection parts. Material fixing elements to the table. Three end mills and end mill for PCB. Hex key set for fixing the side protection glasses. Metal rods for fixing the material to the table. T-slot nuts and bolts of the protection glasses and a demo PCB plate. Now let's remove the top protection foam. Aresis Red Series CNC machine welcomes us. Side protection windows and user manual come taped on the Red Series. I touch the side foams. It looks quite solid. When I try to move it, it maintains its rigidity. Now let's move Red Series on the table with my friend. You can position the Aresus Red Series, which is very light and mobile, on any desk. Let's examine the user manual of Aresus Red Series CNC machine together. All warnings about the issues we need to pay attention to regarding the use of the CNC machine are included in the user manual, and at the same time, instructions on how to use it are explained with visuals. You can access this information in both English and German. At the same time, you can quickly contact us via WhatsApp, Telegram, email, and www.erasucnc.ch website address. Let's examine the hardware features together. You can cut comfortably with the Aresus Red Series CNC machine, which offers a very wide working area. It comes with a spindle motor with 18,000 RPM and 750 watt power. It provides the potential to cut difficult materials such as stainless steel with the feed power provided by the NEMA 23 stepper motor that provides movement in the x-axis. You can safely connect all end mills that comply with the ER20 standard to the Red Series. The Red Series is a fully professional milling machine designed for series production. It can easily cope with up to 90 hours and longer working times. There are two ventilation holes on the top cover to maintain the optimum temperature balance while cutting metal during these periods. At the same time, Red Series has an active air cooling system with the ventilation hole on the back cover. We have seen the position of NEMA 23 stepper motors, one on each of the three axes. Thanks to these motors, you can make the smallest advances with 100% accuracy. We are talking about a very precise linear feed system. Each Aresis Red Series CNC machine has its own identification number. This identification number allows you to inquire about the warranty period and the history of the machine. There is also a label with the technical specifications and warning symbols of the Aresis Red Series. 
Let's connect the power cable of the Red Series CNC machine. And we have made the connection. Let's turn the power switch on. Then we need to press the start button. The system is ready and the table lighting is automatically started with the system. By pressing the emergency stop button, we can instantly deactivate the entire system. Press the start button to restart the red series. We can also switch off the red series from the power switch. However, when we switch off with this method, when we turn the power switch on again, the systems of the red series will not be ready. You must also press the start button to make the system ready. When you press the start button and the red series systems are ready, the instrument panel is automatically initialized. The instrument panel allows you to control the spindle motor and observe its instantaneous values. The F value shows another value related to the RPM value. Press the run button to activate the spindle motor. The flashing dot on the display panel shows us that the spindle is active or ready to run. Press the stop button to make the spindle motor inactive again. When the whole system is switched off, the instrument panel is switched off together with the system. Let's examine the connection ports of the RED series. There are two connection ports, 3-pin and 4-pin. These provide the PC connection with the 4-pin RED series. The 3-pin one is for connecting accessories such as probe cable, etc. to the milling machine. Connection should be made so that the protrusions and slots indicated by the arrow mark on the cable and the input fit each other perfectly. There is a safety lock to prevent the cables from coming out of the slot. Let's ensure that it is fixed in place by turning the safety ring. We do not want the red series to be disconnected while on duty. By turning the safety ring in the opposite direction, we can unlock the connection again and remove the cable. Let's take our keys 30 and 19. I will show how to remove the end mill from the ER20 with this spanner. Firstly, we must make sure that the spindle motor is inactive before doing this operation. After placing the keys in place, I apply power. Yes, we loosen the connection. I will remove the rest by turning it by hand. We separate the end mill, collet, and cover from each other. Let's take a closer look at how the process is done. I want to connect a 6mm diameter end mill. I have the appropriate collet. It is very clean. We see the ER20 connector cover. We make sure that the chips generated during the use of the milling machine do not accumulate inside the cover and that all components are clean. First of all, I connect the cover with the collet. We make sure that they are fixed to each other with a click sound. It is normal for the collet to rotate through the cover. Finally, with the non-cutting side of the end mill, I bring the three together as shown. I do not allow the end mill to protrude behind the collet. In this position, I can ensure a secure connection. Let's quickly disassemble it again and put it back together. It's quite simple. We can connect our end mill to the red series with its collet and cap. Firstly, I temporarily fix it by turning it with my hand to get the gap. I applied a little force with my hand, but this will never be enough. For a secure connection, I perform the compression process again with my 30-19 keys. Make sure you apply enough force, in moderation of course. Finally, I check by hand that the end mill is secure in place. Perfect. Eresis Red Series CNC machine is perfectly compatible with Windows and Mac operating systems. Let's take a look at the program we control Red Series. 
Firstly, I am realizing the connection between Red Series and Open Builds. With Open Builds control software, we can control the Red Series CNC machine and start our project. You can learn how to download this software for free from www.arisucnc.ch on the software page. Of course, you can also use the Red Series CNC machine with other control software. After the connection has been made, Open Builds gives an alarm because the position of the milling head has not been determined. I press the Home All button. Red Series first moves the milling head upwards in the Z axis to learn the exact position of the milling head. Thanks to the sensors in the Red Series, it will automatically recognize when it reaches the starting position and stop the milling head at the zero point and then perform the same operations simultaneously in the X and Y axis. When the milling head has completed its movement in all axes, the global origin point is now known with certainty by Red Series and Open Builds. And then we need to manually set the local origin point. But I will not go into this topic in the unboxing video. I prepared a simple project to take a brief look at how the Red Series CNC machine works. Let's start by pressing the Run button from Open Builds. As we can see, the Red Series spindle motor automatically increases to the desired speed and moves from the local origin point to the place where it will start cutting. It has started the cut. While the milling head performs the cutting process in the air, I will tell you which materials you can cut, thanks to the Aresis Red Series CNC machines 1 horsepower 18,000 RPM, 750 watt spindle motor, and NEMA 23 stepper hardware. With Red Series, you can cut hard and soft metals, such as stainless steel, iron aluminium, copper, brass, etc. Red Series is a milling machine suitable for mass production, designed for cutting metal on the desktop with a 100% accuracy target. With Red Series, you can also produce PCB very precisely. Of course, you can also cut wood, plastic, etc. materials. If the dimensions of the part you cut are 100% as you want, and the surface quality is important to you, Red Series will be a good colleague for you. Yes, it has completed the cutting process and goes back to the local origin position. The spindle motor is also automatically inactive. Here you can see the contents of the box and some production examples I made with Red Series. I prepared an example of PCB production. It was really a very detailed example. I cut L-shaped parts from 7000 series aluminium and created a topography map from wood. With these equipment and extra accessories, you can produce the quality you dream of using Red Series. Don't forget to visit our website. Thank you for watching.